Hello everyone, welcome to a completely different kind of video than I would normally do. Um, what we have here is a Dell Alienware Area 51 R2 that belongs to a family member and it is completely dead. If I switch it on, you will see that it all lights up like it is working, but there are no beeps, no further um, action from it at all. You can see the screen is completely dead. Now I have seen some posts on how to use one of these cheap little, one of these, one of these cheap little USB BIOS flashing tools to try and rewrite a new BIOS image onto it. Here is the bits of kit that it comes with and this little piece here you can use to clamp on to the BIOS chip on the motherboard and hopefully reflash it and bring it back to life. So I don't have any idea if this is going to work but we'll see. Um, he's pretty gutted that he can't play games anymore, he's quite into his gaming so we'll try it out and see how we get on. If I get it to work I'll post all the information and detailed instructions with everything you need on my blog. So now I am back on my working PC and I am going to install the software for this little piece of hardware. And I have to say, when you see it, I don't feel great about installing it, but let's just see what happens. The drive is successfully pre-installed in advance. Hmm, confidence inspiring. Okay, well, let's get the thing. I'm going to plug it into my PC. There we go. It's quite stiff to get in. Um, and it made the right kind of sound. So uh, I guess we'll move on to the next step. I've just realised that I also need to install this little tool as well. Um, and apparently that worked as well. So then we can move on now properly to the next stage. So I wanted to show you the setup quickly. I've got my working PC down there connected to a USB extension cable, which goes up into this little programmer. And then it goes down on to the firmware chip. Now, this took me about 10 attempts to connect this um, in a way where it could be picked up by the programmer. This thing got detected straight away after the installation of those drivers, but I had to sort of just fiddle around with this to get it to see the chip. And as you can see on my screen, the chip has just come up. So I'm gonna flip the recording back to my PC and we'll see what happens. So now I'm going to install this software, AS Programmer. I'm just going to extract it to here. And that seems pretty easy. Now I haven't got the thing connected at the moment, so I'm going to hook that up to this Dell Alienware and see if we can find anything. All right, so hardware needs to be set to this CH431. I'm just going to do this search. Now, this chip doesn't have any markings on it, so look, it doesn't work anyway. I'm just going to gamble, pick the first one. Um, and then I am going to do read IC. Let's make that a bit bigger. And you can see it is now reading the chip. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, so the chip has been read. There's not a lot in here which makes much in the way of sense to me. There's lots of empty space. So I am just going to save. Uh, I think we'll just call it BIOS backup.bin. Let's just have a look at what size that came out. 
exactly 16 meg. So I don't actually know how to use this program is another important point. Um, but we do have a BIOS file in here. Let's have a look. That's exactly the same size. So I will go and open this up. I am now going to attempt to write this. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, it seems to be very undramatic. It just simply says done. So I guess the only thing to do now is uh, put the graphics card back in and uh, let's try it. Okay, so I have reflashed the BIOS and uh, well, it's time to try it out, isn't it? Here we go. Now, it has lost all of its boot settings um, and the date and time and stuff like that. But what I am going to do now is, um, as a little treat that the machine's working again, I'm going to install um, an NVMe SSD on a cheap little PCI card and reinstall Windows onto that. I've got the old boot drives disconnected at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to run a firmware update in the normal way from the Dell website, just to see how that goes. Okay, so I've now reinstalled Windows and set all the BIOS settings up properly again in the boot device. Um, and it's all working well. And you can see it does take a little while to boot from a cold boot, but um, once the machine gets going, it really is Still a very fast machine, despite being a few years old. So we're now into booting Windows, and you can see off that Samsung Evo drive, boots basically instantly. So um, I hope that this helps um, some of you guys get your machines working again. I will just quickly show you the results from the Samsung drive. Um, as you can see, it is a very quick drive. Um, and really does boost the performance of the machine. So see how you get on. I would recommend you do not try this BIOS flashing method if your machine isn't broken because you can, because you don't need to. But if your machine is dead like this one, then it might well work out nicely for you. So if it does, let me know in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear if you manage to fix your machines. Cheers, bye-bye.